Before learning HDR, you should be comfortable with using DR, and if you're not, there is a link to a video in the description where you can learn. So what is HDR? Well, HDR stands for half turn reduction and means the cube can be solved with only half turns. It looks like this with same and opposite colours on each face in relation to the centres. Most of the top solvers nowadays are using HDR in pretty much every solve, so I would say it's a valuable skill to learn if you want to get good at FMC. To put it simply, you solve DR on another axis without breaking the first DR. Whichever one you solve, the third axis will automatically be solved as well. But there's more to it than that because you can get parity or fake HDR, which is not solvable with half turns. So to see if you have real HDR, look at the top and bottom face corners of the second axis DR you just solved. And if those corners are either solved, have bars opposite each other, or two diagonals, it's real. Anything else is fake. How do we avoid fake HDR? Well, the number of quarter turns in your HDR solution has to be the same as the number of quarter turns in your optimal corner solution. Or sometimes you'll have to add two, but it has to be the same or plus two. This is ignoring half turns, so if your corners are solvable with U2 L prime U2, that's one quarter turn being the L, which means you need to use one or three quarter turns to solve HTR. So how do you actually solve HTR? Well, you essentially want to reduce the cube to a trigger while reducing the number of quarter turns left in corners so they match. For example, if you have three quarter turn corners, you can do one quarter turn to reduce it to 2E4C, which is solvable with two quarter turns. But you can't just apply quarter turns randomly and try to get a trigger from that, because, for example, you might turn that three quarter turn into a four quarter turn case instead of into a two quarter turn case. So the way to make sure you're actually reducing the number of quarter turns each time is simply by knowing how to solve the corners. I'll get into solving corners a bit more later, but for now, let's move on to the problems you can encounter. Now, doing the first X number of moves in your corner solution to reduce it to one or two quarter turns doesn't always give you a usable trigger. So if that happens, you can try widening some of the half turns, switching with this, or finding an alternate corner solution. I think you can always find an HTR using one or a combination of those, but uh, the last one can be tricky, and a lot of getting good at HTR comes down to just trying a lot of DRs and getting lucky. Another problem can arise, which is, let's say you reduce the cube to two quarter turn corners and you have a two quarter turn trigger like R U to R prime, as in two edges, four corners. But when you go to solve that trigger, you still end up with fake HTR. So this happens when the R moves in your R U to R prime, take it from two quarter turns to four quarter turns away, instead of taking it from two quarter turns to zero. Now there's a way to fix this by, instead of doing R U to R prime, you do U to L to F to L prime U to L. Which annoyingly adds three moves, but you can often cancel two, so you end up only adding one. Uh, there's a more sophisticated way of looking at it than that, but you don't really need to worry about it for now. And uh, this can only happen with two quarter turn triggers, so if you set up to a one quarter turn, 4E4C, and then you do the 4E4C in one quarter turn, you will get real HTR every time. So to get a good HTR, you really need a good DR, and how you can tell a DR is good is by the corners. Basically, the fewer quarter turns in the corner solution, and the fewer turns overall, the better the DR. This is because the more quarter turns you need, the longer both the HTR solution and the entire finish are on average. Plus, the longer the HTR and optimal finish are, the less likely you are to find optimal or close to it. So this is why I've only learned the sub 4 quarter turn and sub 11 move corner cases, which can be found in the corner doc I've listed in the description. And if I get a DR where I don't know the corner case, I know that it's just a bad DR and I discard it. So being able to find a lot of DRs is kind of crucial for getting good at HTR. How do you learn corners? Well, you can either learn hyperparity or learn the cases like a typical ALK set. The recognition is kinda hard for some of them, and there are multiple ways to do it, but the ALGs are very easy, and every time you do a non-U-turn, you're reducing it to another case, kind of like square one cube shape. It would take a whole nother video to go over corners, but I've put a link to the corner cases in the description. The most important thing to note is that it doesn't include mirrors. So if you get a case you can't find on the sheet, it's probably just a mirror. And those can be kind of hard to pick up on, especially for the slashes. But you'll, uh, you'll get there, or I'll release a corner tutorial or something. Now, a very vital step. How do you actually finish an HTR? Well, the best approach is generally to solve all but a slice. Specifically, the slice on the axis of your initial DR. 
From there, you can either do move replacements, uh, column insertions, or slice insertions in the post DR part of your skeleton. And most of the time, you'll be able to do this in zero to two moves. Personally, I find it hard to get a leaf slice skeleton most of the time which is down to either not trying enough HTRs or just being bad at solving them. But another approach, and what I normally do, is just block building or trying different ways to solve corners and seeing if I can get a 1-2 to two edge alg skeleton. The thing with HTR is that edge insertions are usually very insane. So for example, a 2e, 2e, 3e skeleton probably adds around 6-7 to seven moves on average. The other option is a direct finish, which takes a bit of luck, at least to do it efficiently, and uh, it can be hard to see if it's like 7 plus moves. But just keep all of those options in mind and you should be getting pretty good HTR solves. Another thing to note is that there are generally quite a few ways to go from DR to HTR in the same number of moves, and more so the longer the DR to HTR step is. So if you find your HTR is kind of bad or you want to try something else, uh, you can usually just modify your HTR solution and get something different. But you can often also modify your DR to uh, give you a different HTR output. So say your DR ends with a L2D2R, well you can also try R2U2R and that'll give you something different at the end of your HTR. And one more thing you should learn is uh, some HTR specific 3e and 2e 2e algs for HTR. These have a pretty good chance of cancelling 4 and a relatively high chance of even cancelling 6, so they're definitely worth learning. Alright, we're going to do an example solve and this is from my last attempt and it had a kind of tricky HTR so I think it's a good example. Um, this is all on the inverse, so I'll write the inverse scramble and it's a 10 move 3 quarter turn DR, so no, pretty decent, and it was a lot better than any other DR I had on the attempt, so I went with it. But the first thing I look at is corners, and my corner solution is U2, B2, U, L2, U2, B2, U, B2, D prime, F2, U2. Uh, the last half turns don't matter in terms of HDR, but first thing I'll try is just doing U2, B2, U for my corner solution to reduce it to two quarter turns, and that leaves us with... 2e4c, which is very nice. And turns out we have a solved bar, this blue-green bar with orange pieces, and the two orange and red corners are here, and the edge is back here, so you can actually do two moves, R2L2, to set up to the trigger, which is very nice. But unfortunately, when we go to do the trigger, U'L2U, we get fake HDR. Three corners and one corner means it's fake. So instead of doing this to get fake HDR, we do that trick from before where we, uh, well, in this case it's L2, D2, B2. And now we get the trigger from this angle and we get real HDR because there's a bar here, there's a bar opposite. In the attempt, I didn't really find much off of this. We can try just solving the corners in two moves, but we get a lot of edges left. So I tried a bunch of different ways to get to HDR and the one I went with was a sort of wide move variation of the first few moves, which is D2, F2, U. So we get 2E, 4C again, but the HTR I did was L2, U2, B2, D, L2, D. And corners kind of solve them, well they're a wide perm away. So I actually found a direct finish from this in 7 moves. Um, you could try just D2, F2, D2, and that gives you, that gives you, uh, 2E, 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 2E. So, it's actually two Elks, which is pretty good, but what I ended up trying was R2, B2, R2, to solve this block, because there's a square here, and, like, cross edge kind of thing is there. After that, there's this, uh, pair that we can set up to the 2x2x3, two by two by but... Before doing that, if you do an L2, mix more blocks, then doing the D2, F2 leaves you with one move left. So that's a 7 move direct finish, and that was the best I could find on this solve, so I got a 26. But, turns out there was a findable 23 if I had started with a different corner solution. So if you start with U2, R2, D, and then switch to the normal scramble, you get uh, this 5 more moves to HTR, B2, R2, D, F2, D prime, 
And that's one move shorter than the HTR I had, so it's 18 moves. And uh, it turns out there's a 5 move finish from here, which is R2, B2, D2, L2, F2. So that's a 23, and yeah, it just it pays to know alternate corner solutions. And uh, especially for that case, since it was a, a 3 quarter layer and like a Y perm on top, it's symmetrical, which means you can like just rotate and do the mirror of your normal ELG. So I guess it's something I could have and maybe should have looked for, but now I know. All right, so that's about it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you learned from this tutorial and actually understand HTR, but if you're confused, let me know. All right, bye.